and welcome to practical 5.1 RC in series. It's very similar to the previous prac 4.1 except of course we're now using a capacitor instead of an inductor. So Dr Ken here with you once again. So let's have a quick look at this particular practical. Don't forget to uh, do your risk assessment, identify the hazards, uh, decide what kind of supervision level you need, what's the class of risk, high, low, medium, and then what control measures are you going to put in place to try and mitigate those risks. So here's our circuit that we have for this particular activity or practical. We have a uh, capacitor, as we mentioned before, in series with a resistor. We're going to use about a 27 odd volt AC power supply. My ammeter is going to be a clip-on ammeter rather than an inline ammeter and we're going to use my digital multimeter for volts. We're going to use an oscilloscope to uh, measure some voltages and see the relationships between them. So channel 1 um, is going to be volts supply and the volts capacitance on channel 2. Remember an oscilloscope is just a flash voltmeter. So there's our basic circuit. So uh, here's, here's the uh, circuit setup itself, very similar to what you've seen before. Um, we have the supply coming from our little transformer at 24 odd volts. Uh, we've looped it several times through here to get the reading up, so I've looped it through three times. We're now coming down into a capacitor, from the capacitor across to the lamp as our resistor and then from the other side of the lamp we're heading back to the supply so very 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 simple circuit so to just to draw it over here we simply have our capacitor and our resistor connected across our power supply very simple very straightforward our voltmeter at the moment is connected uh, straight across the power supply, measuring the voltage, none at the moment of course because I haven't turned it on. And finally here's our oscilloscope measuring the voltage across the supply. So here's the lead to the oscilloscope for the supply and here's the lead to the oscilloscope you can just see here across the resistor. So let's do our measurements. So in this slide we're doing the actual measurements. Let me just turn my screen pointer on to pen again and here you can see uh, 25 milliamps. We've got to divide that by about uh, 5 giving us 4 or 5 milliamps. We're pulling 27.9 uh, odd volts coming from there. We've got 26.7 volts now as we look at the capacitance. We're now measuring the voltage here. You can see the leads are now across the capacitor. So that's our 26 volts across our capacitor. And I obviously forgot to change the label there on our little thing, but that's the capacitor. And then the resistor itself is here. And we're now measuring the voltage over its final panel across our resistor and it's at 6.99 volts or so close to 7 it doesn't matter and again I've you'll notice that the current leads the voltage this time so there's a difference between the voltage and current but uh, we're about uh, two divisions divided by 10 divisions for the period. So the period from here 
to here it was about 10 divisions and this one was 2 multiply that by 360 degrees and I end up with 72 degrees so I've got 72 degrees between the signals and that's how we get that from that difference there so there's our three readings voltage total voltage across the capacitor and voltage across the resistor and the angle between them 72 degrees as we did previously we have to do a phase of subtraction so what we're going to do first is we're going to put in the current reference and the 2.3 volts across the resistor it's drawn like that because they're obviously in phase the resistor and the current then we're going to add the volts 27.5 from the crow at 72 degrees so we'll just um, draw that in so that's our 72 degrees you'll notice from the last time we did this it was the voltage led the current now the voltage lags the current so the 72 degrees is down in this direction because uh, the voltage is lagging the current remember our phaser diagram is always rotating anti-clockwise so finally we add our voltage or in actual fact it's a subtraction because we've taken the first voltage and the final voltage and we've put in the result so the result is a, actually a subtraction and there it is there we have 72.2 volts at about 85 degrees and again the voltage is lagging the current or the current is leading the voltage so that final angle in there is about 85 degrees I've only estimated it but it gives you some idea so there we are exact opposite or 180 degrees difference in actual fact to the previous prac so capacitors and inductors do similar things but in the opposite direction so what can we conclude once a circuit has reactances of some kind in it you can no longer add or subtract algebraically why because the ac current and voltages are complex quantities they have both direction and magnitude and both things must be considered when you're adding or subtracting them and these can only be added or subtracted using phasor diagrams or using complex numbers and we're going to stick with using phasor diagrams for this particular course